hello everyone welcome back to another video on today's video we'll be looking at the analysis for the upcoming week and preparing setups for this coming week of of the 22nd of may so this is what you always do if you are new here on this channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you like and comment every sunday evening we have a video whereby we look at the charts and prepare for the upcoming week so first up let's get to it looking at the usdjpy on the four hour time frame let's start on the daily time frame firstly or let me say the month just break it down from the monthly top down bottom up strategy one of my strategies so looking at this current month may we seen that we see that it's a bullish candle and it just broke out of the high this was a long consolidation for four months five months it's been consolidating for five months you understand so price eventually broke but it actually testing the high at 138 the previous five months high so it could possibly drop or it could continue from there uh, let's go to the weekly on the weekly time frame we see that even this past week we had a bullish bullish run we had a bullish candle after this previous bullish candle we had a bullish candle we had we see price breaking out of this high here high there and as well as this one so price currently broke out of this whole consolidating uh, stage here this phase of consolidating consolidate consolidation stage since uh december 2022 it says the market has been consolidating here so we're looking for a potential rally something like you see this this candlestick right here we could have a an impulse to the upside similar to this candlestick or we could get a drop to the downside so with my with, with what i'm thinking i'm thinking that we already pierced up on the upside so what could potentially happen you could continue with the upside so let's look at it let's look at it on the smaller time frames daily let's jump to the daily on the daily time frame on the daily time frame we've seen that price has been on a, at least a bullish movement for for the time being since we've seen that uh the drop here this massive drop since price has been on a drop for quite some time uh this trend here this downtrend the the long downtrend that we had testing the moving averages and the, the demand zones so now as you can see i'm, I'm using the trend line to show you that that the direction of the trend so with this trend currently that it's the trend that has started is a bullish trend so we want an uptrend understand let me take this out so looking at the usdj point the daily we seen that the uh, this week the candlestick broke out of this high the first high the second high the the week the candlestick broke out of the high at 137.762 so we seen that an impulse so currently we were looking for a pullback we got a pullback there's a potential pullback respecting the moving average the 200 the moving average that acts as a supply zone it currently is a demand zone so this zone right here <clears throat> let's go to the four hour this zone right here should be changed to to green green represents a demand zone or support zone for those who don't know so we had an impulse so that the, the the price action we firstly there's always an impulse a correction and impulse uh sorry impulse correction continuation and then the stage forms we have a impulse this is a correction now we're testing the breakout here we had a price impulsing out of this zone currently we're pulling back to testing the previous breakout so my anticipation is that we could from here start to take our buy position stop loss just below there and just take uh buy orders targeting the target at let me see on the daily our potential target could be at 140 140 point something we could target 140 from here we could see this week candlestick from here just shot up or the next three days so this is what i'm having for a for the, on the usdj pair for this coming week so i hope we are together and then you you see what i'm seeing taking a look at the euro usd on the daily time frame so now on the euro usd since the dollar i'm anticipating the dollar to be positive for this coming week so with the pair correlation this means that what well, the the 
what will happen on the euro will be the exact opposite of what is happening on the usd jpy so that's that's per correlation when the dollar goes up the euro usd decline when the dollar US, usd jpy goes up the euro usd goes down gbp usd goes down gold goes down as well as other pairs and then usd cad rise mm, usd jpy rise as well so currently i spoke about this uh the euro usd on the previous video go check it out and anticipate uh, what i look at what i spoke about i was i was talking about that we got to have an impulse from this zone that i said that this we have we have a consolidation phase here that's what i was showing you on the usd jpy so we had a consolidating stage for quite some time price eventually broke out of it pulled back you see the spike there price pulled back sellers came in the price currently there the time i analyzed it was uh i think this candlestick this candlestick so i mentioned that we're gonna have a pullback from there we're gonna drop so this was the target the target could be at 1.07251 but even reached the ultimate target and then on this target i'm actually waiting those who took sales there you should take your profit somewhere there or you should have long taken your profits i'm anticipating that we could continue to roll to the downside since the price even broke out of this low so price is currently on a sell territory from here we spiked even to the downside currently the friday candlestick is testing the previous breakout from here we could see sellers coming in and taking the market to the downside let's see the four hour time frame this is even caused by the the federal the fed being uh, still continuing to raise rates so currently guys with the moving average is above price this is a resistance supply zone price broke out of this low showing us that it's a sell territory impulse pullback so we're looking for a uh, continuation to the downside so just a small pullback here and then we can take sales put our stop loss just above and then look to drop with this the the euro usd the first target could be at 1.0517 so that's what i'm anticipating on the euro usd exactly what i'm anticipating and i anticipated on the past video or the previous video let's continue looking at the gold price the gold chart so on the gold we are high guys as i said i've been talking about gold for quite some time every time i spoke i speak about gold i hardly trade it but i know how to trade it and when i trade it you guys will see one day <laughs> Okay, we had a high here. We seen sellers coming in. We had an impulse. We had this correction. And then eventually this week we had a breakout out of that correction. So sellers came in. We seen sellers coming in. Let me show you this quickly. Let me show you this. So if you can look at this, I just had the name of the the clients that i have so we take a look at this i send a signal during the course of the week i mentioned that we're gonna have a break out of the gold the gold broken out of the demand zone at 19 possibly 2000 breaking at 2000 or 1995 dollar region that's when i send the signal i said a break out on the gold strong demand zone gold is now on a sell territory long term target at 1968 so let's go back to the charts So the gold price uh what 19 something it was yeah this was it let me place the the zones here make it red for supply zone okay it was here price was uh somewhere around here 2000 19 something i mentioned that gold broken out of the zone it's a change of character or change break change of trend so it was showing us it's on a sell territory i mentioned that you must sell take along a short orders on the gold and then target is at 1968 so let's look at 1968 or 1969 plus minus so 1968 there was the target so you could have sold from here and took some profits there that's a great signal so this this is the strategy and how it wins so guys i'm looking for uh, a further drop to the downside looking for a further drop to the downside on gold targeting uh the target at one nineteen three four nineteen three four. since we've seen price breaking out of this low creating a new low so currently we're at a breakout looking for this is a pullback sorry we had a breakout this is a 
previous uh, pullback testing the previous zone so you could take sell stop loss just above there and look for the uh, market to drop further on the gbpusd uh, i spoke about the gbpusd as well i mentioned that gbpusd is on a long-term sell we've seen this consolidation here a uh, break out of the consolidation breaking this low creating a new low signaling to us it's on a, a sell territory and then we, here it's a, a pulling back testing the previous breakout here and then just even taking out sellers who already took sales somewhere there taking out their stop losses so from here we could get a drop so i'm anticipating they could take sales after price closes below at 1.24264 then you could start to take some sell orders there targeting uh, all the way at 1.23514 that's the potential target coming after the breakout there so this is what i'm anticipating on the GBPUSD. Uh, after this is currently a demand zone. Uh, once price closed.